What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. It is I, Master of Earth. And before I start this video, guys, I always have to thank you guys. Thank you for allowing this divine interchange to take place. Thank you for having me in your life. Thank you for allowing us to share energy, guys. This is very beautiful and it's an honor. Thank you so much for giving me this divine honor. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot to cover in this video, a whole lot of illusions to purify, a whole lot of things that we need to learn about ourselves. And I intend for this video to do just that, to benefit you in many ways and to help us all grow, as always, guys. So thank you once again for watching. Let's enjoy it. All right, so guys, we're going to start this video on this note. Of course, by now, we all know who we truly are. And if you don't know, we are the energy of life. The very same energy that's giving life to everything in existence. The very same energy giving life to the plants, the birds, the animals, the planets, the different universes. We are that energy, guys. I would like everybody to realize that that's what we truly are. We are consciousness there are forces that are trying to make use of the energy of the body and that's us consciousness these forces has completely mastered our anatomy they have studied us they know everything there is to know about our bodies they know everything that they know things about our bodies that we are yet to realize guys and through all of the knowledge they have acquired about the human body, these people are literally accessing us, okay? And when I mean by accessing us, I mean they have found a way to access consciousness within human beings. Now that they have access into our energy, now that they have access into our consciousness, they are literally using this energy to do whatever they want. And that's the reason why this matrix is created this way. They're literally stealing our energy, having us do things that are destructive to us, having us do unnatural things for their own benefit. They don't care if, if it means that we're gonna have a low state of consciousness. They don't care if it means we're gonna live our lives with disease. All they want is our energy. And they're literally using our energy to create this matrix. They're using our energy to power this thing. And this video, one of the, one of the topics we'll be discussing in this video is exactly how this is being done. And one of the most charged places where you can find consciousness energy, guys, is the eyes. Okay? And there is so much so much that we are yet to discover about the eyes in this video we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use this video to learn as much as we can okay yeah now guys the part of our eye that's being attacked is is what we know as our field of vision if you was to look straight Everything that your eyes can perceive within that moment coming from your central vision and also from your peripherals Everything that your eyes can perceive within that moment. That's is what I Refer to when I say your field of vision guys. Yeah, so the reason is quite simple guys a lot of our brain functions are dependent on our eyes our eyes and its capacity to receive light determines a whole lot about your health and your state of being. And we need to realize, guys, the brain is powered by light. And these aliens know this. They know that our brains use light to function properly. So one of the best ways to stop our brains from functioning well, they need to manipulate our capacity to absorb or receive light and that capacity is directly related 
to your overall field of vision. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your field of vision is directly connected to your consciousness. Our field of vision responds to the level of life within our bodies. And if we have a lot of life within our bodies, our field of vision will expand. But if we have little life within our bodies, if we're literally walking zombies, our field of vision will contract, okay? Our field of vision determines how much light is able to enter our bodies within any given point in time. If our field of vision is contracted, that means less food for our brains, less food for our whole bodies. Now, oh, ladies and gentlemen, these alien forces understand how connected the eyes are to the whole body. And they came to the conclusion that as long as they continue to give the body the right stress, your field of vision will remain in a contracted state. And that's literally what's going on in society. Whether we know it or not, our field of vision is being attacked relentlessly. Like it's being under a full throttle attack. And it's so significant, our field of vision, because this is literally what we use to see reality. This is what we use, to, this is what we use as our standpoint for our outlook of things. If they, if they contract our field of vision, there will be possibilities, there will be codes, there will be all types of things our bodies will, won't be able to, to, to get because our field of vision has been damaged. Uh, Alright, so guys, um, in order for the human body to remain in a contracted state of vision, in order for the body's field of vision to remain contracted there must be changes uh, that these aliens have to do within our bodies so that we remain in that state and guys this is all done based on a science they have completely mastered our bodies down to the T and this matrix is a result of that now guys just to break it down for you guys in order to keep the body in the constant state of contracted vision, they need to keep the body in the constant state of stress. And guys, what they do is pretty, it's pretty fucked up what they do. But one of the ways to ensure that we're constantly under stress, they fuck with our heads, guys. They literally rewire our brains and they fuck up the natural design of the human body naturally guys the human body is designed to live life stress free it's live life it is meant to go through life stress free most of the time and to only suffer from stress peri peri uh, periodically or very rarely but the way that the world is now is the reverse. You're under stress all the time and you hardly get any rest. You hardly get any escape from the stress. And the way it works is this, guys. The way that they change the human brain, they change the brain waves that power our brain. Uh, the alpha wave brain wave is truly the natural state human beings should be in. And I would like everybody to realize that anytime the body is under some type of stress, beta waves are the dominant brain waves that's, that, that, are, uh, that are being uh, operated in our brains. What, de what determines the brain wave that you're in is oftentimes the rate of uh, these cycles, okay? These are brainwave pulses. Now, guys, right here, all I would like y'all to know, I would like everybody to realize that 
the beta waves, you know, what we use for our wakefulness, the brain waves that we usually use when we're wide awake, these come from the conscious mind. The conscious mind literally governs and powers beta waves. And all of these other waves, alpha, theta, delta, these are these are uh, manufactured and come from our subconscious mind and our higher minds. Humans are naturally designed to go through life in alpha waves. By us becoming beta wave dominant, by us replacing these alpha waves that came from us, that came from our subconscious minds. And let's remember, there is no distinction between the mind and the body. Alpha waves literally come from our bodies. The intelligence that is powering every cell, these, this is what even creates these alpha waves. And through us uh, becoming beta wave dominant, we are literally allowing an alien frequency to take over our brains and control us. If, if, if your mind is being dominated with beta waves, everything you do is no longer coming from the body's intelligence, from the natural world, from the subconscious mind. Instead, everything that you're doing is coming from an alien frequency that has learned how to control your body and take over. And beta waves is a requirement. Whether we know it or not, brain waves is all determined by the eyes. And in order to keep, in order to change humans into beta wave dominant people, in order to make human beings beta wave dominant, they have to make changes to our eyes. And we got to realize that our eyes are our eyes are behind our eyes are behind a lot of the things that go on in our bodies, guys. And yes, our eyes literally determine what kind of brain waves we are experiencing within that moment. Now, in order for us to know exactly how human beings are forced into changing their original nature, we got to understand how our eyes are even being used to do it. So let's do that now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as you already know by now, light is literally the food of our brains. Our brains literally use light to function. Guys, due to a lifestyle that involves artificial lights, that involve artificial screens, that involve glasses, sunglasses, that involve uh, not really any type of exposure to natural lighting. Due to this very unnatural lifestyle, we have failed to give our brains the food that it needs to operate efficiently. And right here, I gotta say this once more, the eyes literally are the brain. The part of our eyes that is not getting the food that it needs is our rods and cones, guys. We need to understand the functions of our rods and our cones. And it basically goes like this. Our cones are used to translate light and produce color out of it. Our cones are involved in all types of perception of color. Now friends, the rods are literally used to see all the things that don't require light. And that basically stands for all of the invisible frequencies coming from life, okay? And the best analogy to put it, just imagine seeing life in black and white, okay? Even though there isn't any color,
you're still able to see things that doesn't really involve color such as detail forms uh, different uh, variations in the hue and stuff like that the rods and the cones are one big system they're not separate is one uh, overall function of the eyes whether we know it or not all of the light that we get during the day is what the body uses to power up all of the subconscious activities that go on at night and our vision is first and foremost always dependent on how much light we're getting from daytime so one of the ways to ensure that our rods and our cones are starved that they uh, are in a constant state of stress you literally have to reverse night and day okay and the most simple way to explain it to you guys they set up a system where humans during the day are completely isolated from natural light okay so now they're no longer giving their cones any type of stimulation they're treating the body as if it's nighttime and that gives the body stress during the day you need to make sure you give your body as much light as possible that's what the day is for is for food for your body you know but besides that guys we gotta we gotta realize that um during the night and this is all uh, based on uh, the design of our bodies just by being in darkness the way the night is basically designed it is a total relaxation trigger for all living beings that operate on you know a solar frequency okay so during the night instead of for humans to be in a very dark environment instead they keep humans in high lit environments once the sun is down our rods are put into the picture we start to use our eyes for more of a detailed sense during the night because there is less light instead of our rods to uh, function properly and this needs to be done through the relaxation triggers a dark setting does to our eyes. Anytime it's dark, our, we start to use our eyes in a more relaxed way. No, they light up our environment and they force our bodies to think it's daytime and this stresses the brain out in, a, in ways you can't imagine. And all of these things are used to keep humans in a beta wave frequency. Whether we know it or not, during the day, just exposing your body to sunlight, you will be more likely to access alpha waves and the subconscious mind. By isolating yourself from uh, natural light, by being exposed to high lit areas at nighttime where you're supposed to be in your subconscious mind when that's the perfect time to truly access your subconscious mind the best way to stop humans from being in the alpha wave state is to reverse uh, night and day to make daytime nighttime and to make nighttime daytime and it's messing up our rods and our cones causing us to starve them unknowingly so guys um by us unknowingly starving our eyes, we have given a dulling effect to our perception, guys. And due to the fact that we're literally starving our eyes and our cones, we are seeing only 10% or less of our overall capacity to perceive okay just to sum it up guys I will say this the things that are powered by the invisible frequencies of the Sun human beings are naturally supposed to be able to see those frequencies okay We are supposed to be able to uh, perceive those things, but because our cones have never been able to get the food they need, they have not been able to do the job, 
they're supposed to do and that's to uh, power the rods and giving us that perception to see invisible light so in a way guys we are now living life in black and white we are seeing life with less than 10 or 5 percent of our potential to see it and by having us see less the food that our brain should be getting it won't be getting those uh, foods and our brains will be suffering from disease as a result our brains will be a lot easier to suffer from stress ladies and gentlemen this alone will stop your brain from its capacity to even function properly because of your vision now being limited through the starvation of your rods and your cones there will be things there will be light codes possibilities opportunities all types of things that your body can respond to and react to because your vision has now been uh, dulled down now that it has been manipulated there will be things you will never be able to access there will be things there will be light codes you won't be able to receive all types of phenomena because your eyes have been tampered with I know y'all remember how it was when uh, you was younger. I'm pretty sure that a lot of viewers have memories of the world being more colorful, of the world being more vivid, of the world being more filled with light and wonder and, and beautiful things. Ladies and gentlemen, there truly is an operation going on underneath the scenes and children are the target these changes all these changes that I'm talking about um, how they target us all these things take time okay all these things take time it takes years of doing a particular something to cause a reaction in the body so let's continue to explore um, all these topics to gain more awareness about our bodies now guys, there is no coincidence that children are in the alpha wave state and by the time they're adults, they are no longer in the alpha waves. They are now living their lives in the beta waves. There is no coincidence guys. If you investigate what went on uh, between those times, between uh, the child's life and as it grew into a adult, if you research or investigate what went on during that time, you will see a key factor in how humans are being forced into becoming beta wave dominant. Ladies and gentlemen, school is not what you think it is. School is one of the systems used to teach humans how to use their eyes improperly and I will say this guys school did not come from a benevolent source it did not come from a place that had the empowerment of all human beings in mind school came from a place that had ulterior motives like world domination and the overall crippling of human beings you know Out of all the stress that can possibly affect the eyes, the most powerful stress that truly affects the eyes is schoolwork, guys. As you already know, beta waves is the brainwave of stress. They use stress to keep us in beta waves and we got to realize that how our eyes come into this picture, this is what they do, guys. Somebody's field of vision. All right? The way that it works is this, guys. They create a split in our field of vision. They create a split just like that, a split in our field of vision. 
Our peripherals, okay, the vision that we use to be aware of our environment, our peripherals is created, that vision is manufactured by the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind is based on the peripheral vision. And I would like everybody to know now, our conscious minds, our egos, are all coming from our central vision. That vision we use to extract detail from things, our conscious minds literally come from that vision. Anytime you actively use your eyes, let's say to read, you have to over exude your central vision. Um, the human eyes are literally designed to look into the distance. It's literally designed to make use of both your peripherals and your central vision when it's looking at things. And school is basically designed not, it's designed for the human body not to see the world in this manner. Instead of looking into the distance, instead of perceiving overall everything, school is forcing people to look and to uh, read and to uh, force an unnatural type of vision. And that alone gives your body stress. The fact that your conscious mind is being called into action, your body thinks this is a time of stress. Besides school forcing humans to use their eyes improperly, there is also another contributing factor that, uh, that contributes to humans becoming beta wave dominant. And we need to realize that the, way that the way that the mind operates, any type of mental effort, any type of formulation, calculation, any type of problem solving, planning, any type of logical thinking automatically replaces all your alpha waves. Anytime you use your mind and you require mental, some type of mental effort, ladies and gentlemen, you are no longer stimulating your subconscious mind. You are instead in your conscious mind and beta waves is what's dominating uh, the brain at that specific moment, okay? School is designed to force children to think to uh, use their minds improperly and the way they do it is by giving children tasks, okay, different tasks that require mental effort. Hey guys, so not only does school tamper with the minds of children, okay, they also teach children how to use their bodies improperly. And we need to realize that the way the subconscious mind moves the body is entirely different from how the conscious mind moves the body. If you observe animals, plants, all living things, they are operating from the subconscious reality. They are operating from the one absolute reality. And the th thing that distinguishes most animals from humans is that animals coordinate their body movements holistically. If an animal is to do any type of movement, they move their whole body in the process. They move their whole body as if, as if it's one dynamic unit. But humans, on the other hand, do not move our bodies as, as one unit. Instead, we use our different body parts separately. Okay? And we need to realize that that is how the conscious mind moves the body. Instead of moving the body as a whole piece, the conscious mind moves one body part at a time. Now guys, if you really investigate school, how are children moving? Well, they sit them down and they write 
with their right hand. Okay? And if they're if they're if they're left-handed, then they know right with their left hand. But all I want y'all to know is writing with your right hand and only using your right hand, you are literally programming your body to be in the conscious mind, okay? That's that's we need to see, guys. I know this sounds crazy. I know this sounds bizarre, but this is the truth. School it did not come from a place that had the well-being of humans in heart. School came from aliens and it was designed to cripple humans, to destroy them spiritually, spiritually and physically. And everything that goes on in schools is, is the direct operation of mind control. By the time a student graduates from school, they are no longer capable of approaching life naturally. Instead of them to see the big picture, instead of them to see the divinity in all things, they're going around life trying to solve problems that don't exist. They're going around life looking at things and labeling everything they see. That's the tree I learned about in school today. That's a dog. That's a sheep. That's a that's a moon. You see what I'm you see what I'm talking about? Not only that. We learn to use our bodies improperly. We now become right-handed. You know, we become one side dominant. And all these things reinforce the split that these aliens are trying to create within our bodies. They're literally trying to make sure that we become beta wave dominant. And one of the only ways for a human to become beta wave dominant, you literally have to create a split between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. And just to sum it up, because I don't want to talk, I don't want this, I don't want this video to focus on school. Just to sum it up, guys, they will teach us to see the world improperly. They will create they will they will force children they will give children the wrong outlook on life because they went through years of being taught that you have to solve problems they went through years of a teacher giving them labels for their world okay that's a tree that's a dog that's an owl this is how you write owl o w l all types of left brain activities all these things that they teach in school does not create a holistic brain. Instead, school creates a split in the human's brain and it overstimulates one side of the brain and it starves the other side of the brain. Now friends, it really isn't just school that is contributing to the destruction of the human eye. We must realize all these aliens want they one want to keep us away from natural light and two anytime we use our eyes they want us to be in central vision so that our conscious minds is what's dominant in our minds instead of our subconscious minds you know so some other ways that they reinforce this agenda like I already said, guys, we have been studied. A lot of things that are out right now is out in order to help these aliens in their agenda. And some of the things that are in our reality that is, is doing the same thing school does, guys, television. Not only TVs, guys, but any type of artificial, any type of artificial screen is teaching children right now how to live there are there are parents that are not in their children's lives because of their jobs or whatever so their children have to get all the information from the world from the TV so the TV is now a form of a teacher for most human beings same way school is designed to give children um, perceptions and all types of thinking patterns that will separate them 
from reality and so forth, television is doing exactly the same thing. Things that uh, things such as the news, uh, talk shows, uh, reality TV, all these things are programming. They're literally perceptions, beliefs, opinions, all of the creations that egos, uh, all of the things that egos do is blatantly in TV and all they use TV for, they're trying to program a certain type of ego within you. They want you to have particular uh, kinds of beliefs about reality. They want you to see the world in these sort of ways. So one of the easiest ways to give humans these uh, ego-based informations, perceptional informations, they just put it in TV and have you look uh, at it. And just to sum it up, all of the things that they do is systematically designed to keep us in our center vision. The way we look at the world is only but one way of the infinite different ways we can be looking at the world. So ladies and gentlemen, these aliens literally designed a world where you are forced to always make use of your central vision. Now, it's funny how everything connects. It's just so funny. But just like I said how our egos represent less than 1% of our overall mind. Ladies and gentlemen, our center vision represents less than 1% of the overall ways of us uh of the overall functions of our eyes, okay? So, uh, just to break it down in a way that everybody can understand it, this is basically the eye, all right? This is the eyes, okay? And all this is, is a circle, all right? And what I would like everybody to know now is that right now, existing within this moment there are infinite I'm talking about infinite different universes right now that are coming from our subconscious mind okay this is our subconscious mind there are infinite different realities that are being sourced and that are coming from our subconscious minds and the original function of the eyes is to be used as an antenna to um, tune in to these different frequencies or to tune in into these different realities or dimensions. Let's just say that these, this circle has infinite, infinite sides, okay? This circle is, is infinity and, and they're just infinite different uh, places for you to tune into, okay? Now, guys, the split that I have been talking about in this video literally is just like this, okay? It only represents less than 1% of all of the different functions and all of the different realities your eyes can be exposed to. So we're just going to draw it just like this, just a line, okay? That line is the split. This is the way that, this is where humans are tuned into. They're tuned into this sector of energy. And within this sector of energy, the eyes are being used to create forms, to separate things, to distinguish phenomena, distinguish what you're looking at. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
we need to realize the reason why society is so focused on forcing humans to only see life in this manner, to only use only but a small portion of their eye functions, is literally because if we choose to see the world in any other way, we are literally accessing our subconscious minds. They are trying to design a world where it is impossible for humans to access their subconscious minds. And the only way they can do this is by forcing an unnatural center vision on everybody. In order to limit an infinite being in order to stop them from accessing their infinite power and this power literally come from our bodies it comes from our subconscious minds you have to give these beings egos it is the only way to limit infinite beings they do not want people to realize there are infinite different ways of viewing the world. There are infinite different ways of using our eyes because they know once we begin to use our eyes in different ways, we will start to tap into hidden potential, which represents the subconscious minds. We will begin to tap into our subconscious minds and they do not want that. They do not want uh, human beings to be exposed to their selves. They do not want human beings to know the truth, to wake up from their amnesia, to realize that they have been replaced by beta waves, to realize aliens have taken over. They do not want us to realize that. So they force us to only see the world in one way and that's to avoid any type of subconscious uh, connection or influence. By living a life where you're driven by sight alone, and let's remember, nothing is as it appears. We limit ourselves because we can no longer see the world properly. If we're going by sight alone, everything has to be labeled. Everything has to be given meaning. Everything has to be differentiated, and that alone is illusions. So, through living life through sight, we give our bodies a false perception of the world no matter what we're doing and depending on how truthful that perception is it will have um, a limit on the body okay a quick example is this somebody through all of their conditioning through all of what they've been taught they might come to believe that they're incapable of climbing a tree okay each time that they look at a tree they will just look at the forms of the tree, they'll look at the branches, and then they'll just think to themselves, oh man, I can never climb that. They are going by sight alone. Whether they know it or not, the body already knows how it can climb the tree. It already knows uh, that the person is able to climb the tree. The body already knows that the power is there. But because these beings are now living through sight alone, they will never ever realize that the power is within them and the subconscious mind. All you have to do is connect with the subconscious mind and anything that you're trying to do, it will help you do it because it knows how to do it. It's connected to all things. So one of the main, main agendas, be they're trying to make us sight beings. They want us to live by sight alone. They want to give our perceptions all types of rules, all types of beliefs, all types of opinions, all types of measurements, all types of limitations, you know? And all of this is done so that instead of us to fall back into the unlimited energy source known as the body, the subconscious mind, we are instead limiting ourselves by looking at what we're trying to do and uh, going based on our beliefs and our perceptions and our opinions about it. Yeah, so literally, all this is, all of these agendas is done to give us a thinking problem. They literally want us 
to form perceptions that cause us to always constantly be thinking. That's it. That's all they want. In order for them to control our bodies, they literally have to put us in a position where before every action, we're thinking. Instead, the human body is supposed to operate from the subconscious mind. There is no space to think. There is no space to formulate perceptions, to formulate calculations and measurements and all types of bullshit. You just do. You're just in the now. All of this stuff, school, TV, media, all of the crap that they give humans are literally designed to force us to think before we do. And that gives us uh, instant limitation. We're, we're literally, we literally have a thinking problem. We think at times where there's no requirement to think, you know? We think when we don't need to. And because of this thinking, we are causing a block from our subconscious from taking over our bodies. Now guys, we need to realize that the eyes have different ways, different styles of looking at the world. And the way that the eyes is designed, it's designed to change its style of viewing the world um, based on what type of activity you might be doing, okay? There are infinite different ways for us to use our eyes depending on what kind of function we're trying to get out of it and they do not want us to learn all of the different ways of using our eyes because once we learn how to use our eyes this split will be irrelevant we'll be using all of the infinite different channels that have been hidden from us so um, just to give you another example that will basically sum it up for you guys a lot of times people subconsciously okay they, they subconsciously Find a way to negate this influence, this split in our vision, okay? When people want to tap into their subconscious minds, they naturally close their eyes. They naturally stop that vision, our center vision, from dominating our eyes and just by closing your eyes, a lot of people tend to say that their body took over. They was able to uh, do things that they wouldn't normally be able to do because their eyes was closed and so forth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I started this video on this note. I told y'all that we have been studied and these aliens has found a way to access consciousness directly and you know who consciousness is guys we are consciousness now guys this is something that I would like everybody to realize now okay and this is one of the ways that they're controlling humans This is one of the ways that um, they're able to ev even access us and the thing I would like y'all to know is this at the center of all perceptions, okay, no matter what way that you use your eyes, at the very core of whatever you're perceiving, that's where consciousness is, guys. And any particular time that we look at something, at the very core, there you are. That's where your energy is. That's where consciousness is. Now, in order to access consciousness, they have to find a way for humans to constantly shoot consciousness out their eyes. And as you know by now, the only way that your body can shoot consciousness out your eye is when you're making use of your conscious vision, when you're making use of um, 
your central vision. That is the only time your consciousness is shooting out your eyes. So basically guys, any time that you're trying to extend your will out to matter, I don't care what type of, uh, whatever it might be, okay? Uh, in order to have consciousness be engaged in whatever you're doing, you have to shoot consciousness out your eyes and the only way to do that is by centering your vision. So just to give you a quick question to ask yourself right now, where does your awareness go when you're not focused on anything in particular? Ladies and gentlemen, I need to, for y'all to bring awareness to the power of your attention. Your attention is being targeted. They are targeting that precious energy that is shooting out your eyes called consciousness. If you research the original meaning of attention, the Latin meaning of attention, it means to stretch towards, okay, to stretch towards something, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, any time that you look at something, your pineal gland literally uses invisible rays, it shoots it out your eyes, and wherever that it hits, your consciousness will basically attune to whatever it is, and, and that's just how the body is operated. Now ladies and gentlemen, we need to realize what consciousness does, okay? All consciousness literally does is interchange with matter. Everything that goes on in this universe is a, is a result of consciousness interchanging with matter. Consciousness will store itself within a vessel and whatever that vessel does through the power of consciousness is how consciousness interchanges with matter, okay? they have mastered the interchange of consciousness with matter and they know everything starts at the eyes so ladies and gentlemen not to complicate anything I'm basically gonna sum up the whole interchange process between matter and consciousness and ladies and gentlemen the whole interchange between consciousness and matter all begins with light. Light is the first process, let there be light, that is the first process of the great interchange between consciousness and matter, the great interchange that we know as life. Everything in the universe moves in the cycle, okay? And just to say it like this, your energy first started from your first breath let's just say that your energy first started from the breath all right so let's count the cycles all right let's let's count this uh, the cycles the process first starts in the body it starts with the first breath of a newborn that breath of life that first cycle is then used to power the body itself all right that cycle now cycles back up and is used to power uh, our heads our perceptional uh, faculties and this truly takes manifestation in our eyes once our eyes are open it then receives light and it becomes an image this cycle back down it cycles back down those images are now processed by our different organs by all our different uh, um, all our different endocrine organs and these images are now taken is now cycled back up as feelings okay so now these feelings now come into our heads and based on the feelings it now cycle back down as actions okay and these actions spiral back up depending on if we do the if we do these actions enough times they will finally spiral back up as habits and that's how the whole process starts all right, that is literally the interchange between consciousness and matter. It's all orchestrated through a cycle, and these aliens got us right at the start of that cycle. And the start of that cycle is light, guys. All right, so basically, basically, friends, at the very core 
of whatever we perceive there lies consciousness. Now that I have basically explained the creation process, the whole interchange of matter, everything starts with light. These beings know that at the core of whatever we see, there lies who we are, consciousness. So, one of the main agendas behind the matrix is to constantly find a way to put consciousness in a box. By making sure human beings are constantly attuning to any type of artificial lighting from screens, from phones, from televisions, from uh, light bulbs, whatever it might be, these are the light codes the body will use to power up the images that fuel our feelings, that eventually fuel our actions, and that eventually will fuel our habits. By giving humans an unnatural world where they are constantly under stress because uh, daytime is now nighttime and nighttime is now daytime and one of the only ways to make this possible is by during the daytime they attune you into a dead unnatural artificial lighting frequency and then at nighttime they do exactly the same thing instead of for you to be in darkness they tune you back into this dead lifeless frequency I want, all, I want everybody to realize one of the only ways to make um, the influence possible they literally have to make use of artificial lights any type of artificial light any type of rate that comes from light whether we know it or not guys the subconscious mind literally attunes to whatever rate our eyes are feeding to it since consciousness is at the very core of everything that we perceive as long as they're able to give us a dead frequency of light our subconscious minds will attune to that rate of energy okay ladies and gentlemen whether we know it or not the sun has a pulse, it has a frequency, it's traveling at light speed, it's a rate of light pulsations that once your body attunes with, it will be able to um, it will be able to really power the natural biorhythms and the natural cycles that go on in our bodies. And here's the thing that I would like people to realize. Yes, the TV gives people unnatural perceptions. They really force a very unnatural type of ego on most people. But the main agenda behind TV is not what they're shown on TV. It is the power source behind the TV. The light that is being used to power all of these screens whether it's your phone, whether it's the television whether whatever type of screen it is the light source has a pulse it has an unnatural flicker an unnatural rate and that hypnotizes the body that is the culprit right there in those screens there's a type of um, artificial rate of light and each flash is given subconscious artificial bio biorhythms that the body will act on. It will give the body's feelings and actions and all types of crazy things. So guys, the main agenda, the number one thing they want, they want us to be attuned. They want consciousness to be in a box. That's, that's, the, that's the secret to the matrix. Each time you're using your central vision to focus on something, and if it's a box, then there you go. They have your consciousness within a box, and it will be feeding your body unnatural light frequencies, and every single artificial screen does it. Now, guys, second to this is just being in unnatural light. 
unnatural light reflects off whatever it hits and the colors that we see in unnatural lights these unnatural lights really do produce a dim kind of light perception the only way to truly uh, see something in this true color sunlight has to hit it and you're able to truly see the color from that object but if you're constantly looking at objects through artificial lighting you won't really get the true uh, you won't really get the true color of whatever object it might be so guys another way that they get us and it's quite crazy they understand how the body is designed they know anything that we look at our subconscious minds will attune with it so one of the best ways to make everybody on a beta wave frequency is to overpopulate the world and make sure that no matter what you're constantly looking at people and people are constantly looking at you <laughs> through humans using only their central vision at all times consciousness streams are shooting out your eyes and if somebody is in the beta wave frequency you guessed it beta waves are literally shooting out their eyes and just by them looking at you they'll be unconsciously giving you limitations and all types of rules and all types of opinions that are coming from their beta waves just by people being around that oftentimes limit people's behavior we need to understand that the human human body all human beings are naturally designed to look at the world as if it's a mirror anything that they look at that's literally what they are so uh, beta waves are dominating the world right now because most human beings are beta waves and we have never seen no different you know guys so this is really no secret most of the things that give energy to your body anything that gives you energy usually requires no humans or little contact with humans you usually need to be alone in a natural environment to increase your energy and most of the times anything that decreases your energy usually involve humans whether you're making contact with a human whether you're in a uh, situation where you're exposed to a lot of humans most of the time when you're outside of nature and around humans there is a decrease of your life energy and the beta wave phenomena that happens is a result of the nature of the human beings I call this the mirror neuron effect whatever we look at we subconsciously become now in this video we spoke a whole lot and we're gonna to have to continue this video in another video but I can still end this video with a few tips to help y'all and these tips are quite simple one way of reversing this influence that they have on us all they're trying to do is to make sure that humans are not exposed to alpha waves that means during the day they do not want you to have any access to natural light and during the night they do not want you to have access to darkness also another key factor is they constantly want you in central vision ladies and gentlemen all this is only possible because we are in an unnatural environment a good way to reverse all of the alien mind control going on now is to simply go back in a natural setting and a natural setting is abundant in green or any type of natural color to sum it up in the best way possible they are literally trying to keep humans out of green they do not want us in a green frequency they do not want us to see a lot of green whether we know it or not the sidewalk is there to stop humans from seeing green all this stuff 
is like this to stop human from seeing green. Out of all the colors in our color spectrum, green is one of the only colors that doesn't give the body feelings, guys. It does not provoke any type of reaction in the body. It's the only color that we can stay in where we don't have to force any type of reaction. We can just relax into our subconscious minds, you know? So, uh, by keeping us outside of this green frequency, by giving us all types of different colors, these colors are then processed as feelings and they end up driving our actions, okay? So, a good way to mellow yourself out, to get back into your natural state of being, you have to immense yourself in natural settings. Any type of green, any type of brown, Anything that comes from nature usually has the perfect colors your body can use to function properly. And a, one of the easiest ways to reverse this crap is to simply be in a natural setting during the day and to be in a natural setting during the night. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to start meditating as much as possible to always give time for alpha waves to uh, take manifestation in our bodies, guys. So take out time during your day to close your eyes, you know. Uh, that alone will uh, replace the beta wave uh, dominance on your mind. And one thing I have to say here, since we're on the topic of meditation, I know a lot of people want to see visions and want to experience out of body experiences and astral travel and do types of and do all these fun things you are using the wrong set of eyes to do it each time that people meditate most people tend to bring their conscious eyes with them every single phenomena that comes from the body it instantly ceases because these people are always trying to perceive what's going on when they meditate or when they do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to learn how to relax. Don't try to see anything. Just close your eyes and just let the subconscious do what it do. Also, guys, I know I spoke a lot about our central vision in this video. And I want to say this now, there is absolutely nothing wrong with our central vision, okay? You know, it's one of the ways we are supposed to use our eyes. It just represents but one of the ways we're supposed to use our eyes, you know, out of many. The only thing wrong about our central vision is when you unknowingly let an alien force manipulate your central vision. And this all comes from your perceptions, okay? Nothing is wrong with having a central vision. Nothing is wrong with a center perception. The only thing wrong is when you have illusions dominating every single perception that you have. You have falsehood uh, constructing the reality that you live in. Ladies and gentlemen, even though we have been conditioned and trained to use our eyes unnaturally through overexerting our central vision. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now put in a position where we literally have to keep doing it. We have gone years of giving our eyes the wrong beliefs, the wrong opinions, the wrong perceptions, the wrong rules, limitations, whatever. It is now our jobs to open these books up once again and try to expose these eyes to truth. All you have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to give your brain as much truth as possible. And you can get truth from books. You can get truth from screens. You can get truth from uh, somebody next to you. That's the that's the that's the beautiful thing about life. Even though all of this stuff is used against us, we can still use it and flip it back on them. We can still use this warfare against us to better ourselves, you know? So so I suggest that 
you literally search for truth. Uh, it's not it's not a thing about knowledge anymore. It's about truth. Look for truth, guys. Even if it means reading books, well, guys, you have to read books. You have to find a way to rewire your uh, your your brain. You got to rewire your perceptions, and you can instantly do that by giving yourself more knowledge and more truth. And you have to realize that. They don't these alien forces don't really care about our perceptions because they know that's a quick fix. That's so quick to fix. Anybody can fix a perception in an instant just by being exposed to the truth. So they realize we got to get them at the start of that perception. And the start of any perception is light. By attuning us to an unnatural frequency, that's where they're hitting us the most by giving your brain truth by giving it the right perceptions that alone will do a lot of the reversing of the alien influence on us we have to be exposed to truth any way possible last but not least guys the best thing any human being can do right now is to sun gaze during the daytime and to be in a dark setting during the nighttime and the reason why I say that all human beings should be sun gazing is literally because that is one of the only ways to truly reverse the starvation of our brains. That's the only way for us to truly stimulate our cones so that it can finally stimulate our rods so we can then upgrade our vision and we can then um, live life with, with, a, with a better vantage point point a better uh, view of things people that sun gaze because do they not know they have been upgrading their rods because they have been giving their eyes the food that it needs which is light these people are now able to see something that is invisible now ladies and gentlemen a lot of people oftentimes tell me that they see a ball of energy at the very center of their vision and I already did a video about this I call it the eye of the eye now ladies and gentlemen everything I said in this video is true guys at the very center of your vision lies consciousness because these sun gazers have been given their eyes the food that it needs which is light they are now operating from an upgraded vision and they are able to see things that are invisible. They are able to see invisible frequencies that they wouldn't be able to see otherwise if they hadn't have had gave their eyes the energy they need. So uh, one requirement for um, my next video focused on light you will have to have a center of consciousness in your vision you have to develop the eye of the eye that's the only way that you'll be able to learn most of the different ways of using your body that I will be teaching on YouTube everybody has to have that eye of the eye in the center of your vision so anybody that already has it perfect you already got everything you need and everybody else I suggest that you start sun gazing and this is a quick tip for uh, anyone that has trouble sun gazing during the day why don't you use the trees use the leaves of the trees to filter out the sunlight for you and you can look at the sun through the leaves make it easier to sun gaze through the harsher times like around 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. like they say you know so anybody that has limited eyes anybody I'm talking it doesn't matter your race whether you're white whether you're Spanish Asian black whatever if you have trouble sun gazing use the trees to filter the sunlight so that you'll be able to get some form of stimulation for your rods and your cones alright so guys uh, like I said this video is getting a little too long I had to finish it here and we will continue more in another video uh, ladies and gentlemen I will say this um, 
producing this video took a lot of time I had to literally stand in front of a screen I had to put myself in the position where I was literally sucked into that artificial frequency just to produce this video ladies and gentlemen if you can please donate something I mean damn <laughs> you know help me out support me you know it was it was a it was a big sacrifice on my part man I guess it's all worth it in the end I hope y'all enjoyed it you know if you want to donate the link is in the description you know and um, yeah guys I hope y'all enjoyed it more videos to come you know like I said we're still going through the basics this might seem complex but no we're still in the basics and one of the requirements for um, my next video that will be focused on light and how we can start to see the different realities and all that other stuff one of the requirements you have to have the eye of the eye you have to be able to see things through the eye of consciousness and that's only possible by having a center vision that has um, that has consciousness at the very center actualized and yeah so guys man this video was so long I hope thank you for watching master of earth man there's no cause of anything